What's up, Zero Game? Woo, we have a good video. I, this is gonna be a good video today, man. This is gonna be a hilarious video. We got the debate, uh, the first debate. Um, we're gonna be making reaction to it. I've never seen this. I heard that it is hilarious. You guys already know which political side that I'm on, but I love comedy. And if it's something stupid that conservatives or liberals are doing, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna call it out. I don't care. I'm not like, I'm like one of those people that's like super deep on whatever political side. At the end of the day, I just go by what makes sense to me and what's logical. But if something isn't being logical, and it just so happens to be conservative, I'm going to clown it. So, I don't think the intro will be too long, but if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, leave your thoughts. Let me know if this is gonna be funny to you. And we're not gonna be making a reaction to the whole hour debate. Um, this is gonna be reacting to the 10 minutes, so someone cut it down to about 10 minutes. We're gonna be reacting to that uh, because I'm not going to watch something for an hour. And if I'm already gonna react to something that's for an hour, that means that it's gonna be two hours because I'm reacting to it. You guys know I like to analyze, break stuff down. So, like I said, this is gonna be really, really funny, guys. I, I cannot, I cannot wait. I saw a, I saw a tweet that said that uh, Biden was a Roomba stuck in the corner and uh, Trump was a steamroller without a operator. That was so funny to me when I read that this morning. So I already know that this is gonna be absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, let's get into the video, guys, and uh, make sure you guys get some merch, right? We've been selling pretty good. Make sure you guys get some merch. It says, it doesn't say DX, it actually says XD. I might actually fix that in the video. I probably won't. But uh, yeah, it's, it's XG, it stands for uh, Zero Gain. So join the Zero Gain, all right? Let's get into the video. Tell you very simply, we won the election. Elections have consequences. We have the Senate, we have the White House, and we have a phenomenal nominee, respected by all, top, top academic, uh, good in every way, good in every way. In fact, uh, some of her biggest endorsers are very liberal people from Notre Dame and other places. So I think she's going to be fantastic. We have plenty of time even if we did it after the election itself. I have a lot of time after the election, as you know. So I think that uh, she will be outstanding. She's going to be uh, as good as anybody that has served on that court. We really feel that. Uh, Biden looks like a mannequin, boy. Name, highly respected by all, said she's the single greatest student he's ever had. He's been a professor for a long time at a great school. And uh, we just, uh, we won the election and therefore we have the right to choose her. And very few people knowingly would say otherwise. And by the way, the Democrats, they wouldn't even think about not doing it. If they had, the only difference is to try and do it. Thank you for doing this. And looking Thank forward you. to this, Mr. President. Thank you, I, uh, the American people have a right to have a say who the Supreme Court nominee is. And looking Thank forward you. to this, Mr. President. Thank you, Jim. I, uh, the American people have a right to have a say who the Supreme Court nominee is. And that say occurs when they vote for a United States Senator and when they vote for the President of the United States. They're not going to get that chance now because we're in the middle of an election already. The election has already started. Tens of thousands of people have already voted. And so the thing that should happen is we should wait. We should wait and see what the outcome of this election is. Because that's the only way the American people get to express their view. He's like running who around they elect circles. as President who they elect as Vice President. Now, What's at stake here is the president's made it clear I don't know where he to wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. He's been running on that, he ran on that, and he's been governing on that. He's in the Supreme Court right now trying to get rid of uh, the, the Affordable Care Act. He's which, trying to remember uh, so hard. It's 20 like... million people from having insurance, health insurance now, if it, if they, if it goes into court. And... And uh, the justice, and I have nothing, I'm not opposed to the justice, and she seems like a very fine person. One of the big debates we had with 23 of my colleagues trying to win the nomination that I won, were saying that Biden wanted to allow people to have private insurance still. They can, they do, they will, under my proposal. It's not what you said, but and it's not what the party is. Yo, <laughs> yo, Trump's already on it, dude. Trump's already on it, he's trying to, Biden's over here. I'm trying to get his composure he's trying to remember what the lines are because you know he can't have, uh he can't have like the posters up there the telegrapher uh telling him what it is right uh so like he's trying to remember so hard he's like gotta get these black votes 
we gotta get these black votes man I can't mess this up and then like Trump's over here he just can't be patient he's like oh it's already a lie like this is already like it, what are we two minutes in is already getting like goofball stuff going on that is simply it's already doesn't say you the Affordable Care Act. Joe, you've it's had 308,000 military people dying because you couldn't provide them proper health care in the military. So don't tell me I'm about this. I'm happy to talk about this. And if you were here, you Look, it, wouldn't be it would be 2 million people because you were very late on the draw. You late didn't want me to draw. ban China, which was heavily infected. You didn't want me to ban All right, we're, gentlemen, Europe, we're gonna, we're, which no, was heavily Mr. infected. President, you would have Mr. been President, much later, Joe. Mr. President, much later. Mr. President. You're talking about 2 million people. <laughs> The president also is opposed to Roe v. Wade. That's on the ballot as well in the court. In the court. And so that's also at stake right now. And so the election is all You don't know it's begun. on the ballot. I, Why is it on the ballot? Because, because Why is it on the ballot? It's not on the ballot. It's on the ballot <laughs> in the court. Well, there's nothing. Yo, <laughs> you see Biden's <laughs> Did you see Biden's face? He's like, he's like, please shut up. He's like, he's like, please shut up. That dude, hold up, I gotta rewind. He was like, he's like, please shut up. That was too funny. Hold up, we gotta rewind that, guys. That was too funny. Hold up. It's all you don't know it's on the ballot. I, Why is it on the ballot? Because, because. Why is it on the ballot? It's on the ballot. It's on the ballot. I don't think so. In the court. Well, there's nothing happening. He's there. like. Donald, and you, you don't know her me? view on Roe v. Wade. I don't, don't know. Her know. View. <laughs> the fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just agree. want to make <laughs> sure. Joe, the I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not first in your class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He make sure. You graduated last in your class, not first in your class. <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He has, You'd you know, surprised. You, you pick be surprised. We had 10.4 million people in a four month period that we've put back into the workforce. That's a record the likes of which nobody's ever seen before. And he wants to close down the, he will shut it down again. He will destroy this country. You know, a lot of people between drugs and alcohol and depression, when you start shutting it down, you take a look at what's happening in some of your Democrat run states where they have these. Hard to get any word in with this clown. Excuse me, this Hey, hey this let me person. just say to you. No, no, no. no. Mr. President, three and I'm a half Mr. Million, President. Joe, that is simply Why did he true. deserve three and a half million it from did, Moscow? Look. Any word in with this clown? Excuse me. This. Hey, hey this let me person. just say to you. No, no, no. I'm no. Mr. President. Three and a half million, President. Joe. That is simply. Why did not he true. deserve three and a half million it from did, Moscow? Look, here's the deal. We want to talk about families and ethics. I don't want to do that. I mean, his family. We could talk about all night. His. He said, "I don't want to do that." One man said, "I don't want to do that." Families my already, family, no, 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 let him, my let, family already lost wrote. a fortune by coming down and helping Go us ahead. with government. Ahead, and that's Every, such a, they're right that's here. Mr. President. Every great. single one of them lost this a fortune. This is not Mr. about like my family or his family. It's about your family. <laughs> the American people, <laughs> he doesn't, that's not true. It doesn't want to talk about what you need. You, the American people. It's about you. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. You All right, that's the end of the, uh, 1994, <laughs> where you call them super predators, African Americans, the super predators, and they've never that's forgotten it. it. They've never forgotten it, Joe. No, no, sir, it's his two minutes. So you did that, and they called <laughs> you super predator, and I'm letting people out of jail. Wait, 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 wait. Is it by the way? Is it Biden's turn to talk right now? And Trump's still talking. Hold oh, no. on. Wait, wait. Did he say that? Did, wait. I got to do though. Did he say it's Biden's turn to talk? Now that you have treated the and they've never no, forgotten it. They've never forgotten it, Joe. No, no, sir. It's his two minutes. So you did that, and they call you super oh, okay, okay. And I'm okay, letting people out of jail Trump. now. That you have treated the African American population community you have treated the black community about as bad as anybody in this country you did the 1990 and that's why if you look at the polls i'm doing better than any republican has done in a long time yo they're trying to get the black vote so hard on both parties man this is like they're just like throwing the black community they just like well you did this against the blacks well you did that against the blacks well, you did this against the blacks that's really what's going on right now dude this is why it's so funny to me because it's not even like they're not even bringing up valid points 
it's like a tattletale. Like, that's literally what it is. Like, they're telling each other about, oh, you did this, you did that, you did this. No, Bobby, he did that first. That's pretty much what they're doing. They're never talking about, like, like anything of value. They're just, they're just like, name-calling each other. This is, a, this, is, this is awesome. Because they saw what you did. You call them super predators, and you've called them worse than that. You know, his own former spokesperson said, you know, riots and chaos and violence help us kill us. <laughs> That's what this is all about. I don't know who said that. I do. <laughs> who? I think it, Kellyanne Conway. I don't think she said that. She said that. And so here's the all right. But here's the point. Oh, no. The point is that... Why does Biden look so worried? I do. Who? I think it, it, Kellyanne Conway. I don't think she, she said that. And so here's the, all right. But here's the point. The point is that... Conway. I don't think she said. She said that. And so here's the point. She said that. The point yeah. is that that's what he is keeps trying to rile everything up. He doesn't want to calm things down. Instead of going in and Wait. talking to people. Yo, I gotta spell words. I'm sorry, guys. That was the just point too point funny. Is that he was like, like we were about to say, look. I do. She said that. And so here's the point. But here's the point. The point is that <laughs> that's what he is keeps trying to rile everything up. He doesn't want to calm things down. Instead of going in and talking to people and saying, let's get everybody together, figure out how to deal with this. What's he do? He just pours gasoline in the fire constantly and every single summer. <laughs> okay, time. and, and to judges to fill. When you leave office, you don't leave any. Yo, I straight up can't take either of those serious right now, dude. This is just too funny, man. I got to. I gotta, I gotta get the water out of my eyes, man. Oh man, when you guys said this was funny, this is this is funny, this is gold, dude. Like they're doing all the jokes for me, man. I, I, I can't even. It's so bad, like it's just like it, it's so bad, right? That I can't even really point anything out. Like it's it's obvious. It's like say like the background behind me is white. There's a a steampunk clock behind me, like, there's white out outlets. Oops, I'm saying white guys, you guys know what that means. Oh my god. This is literally gold. This is, this is hilarious, dude. Man. Okay, let's, let's get to the rest of this, guys. We got uh, a couple more minutes. Judges, that's like, you just don't do that. They left 128 openings, and if I were a member of his party, because they have a little different philosophy, I'd say if you left us 128 openings you can't be a good president you can't be a good vice president but i want to thank you because it gives us almost it'll probably be above that number I'm by sorry. the end of this term I'm sorry. 300 I'm judges sorry. it's a record uh, i believe that we have to do everything we can to have immaculate air immaculate water and do whatever else we can that's good you know we're planting a billion trees the billion tree project <laughs> a billion. It's very exciting you believe a that, that human <laughs> Pollution. A billion. Do Hold up. And do whatever else we can that's good. You know, we're planting a billion trees, <laughs> a billion tree project. And it's very exciting. You believe that, that, that human pollution, gas, greenhouse gas emissions contributes to the global warming of the planet? I think planet? a lot of things do, but I think to an extent, yes. I think to an extent, yes. But I also think we have oh. to do better management of our forests. Every year, I get the call, California's burning. California's burning. If that was cleaned, if that were, if you had forest management, good forest management, you wouldn't be getting those calls. You know, in Europe, they live their forest cities. They're called forest cities. They maintain their forests. They manage their forests. We're going to make sure that those people who want to vote in person are able to vote because enough poll watchers are there to make sure they can socially distance. The polls are open on time. Yo, you know what Biden looks like? Biden looks like that, um... The little sickly kid from American Dad. I want to show you guys a picture, like right up here. He literally looks like that. That that sickly kid right there. That's what he looks like, dude. That's why I keep laughing. I keep thinking of that sick kid from American Dad, man. Oh my God, Biden looks terrible, dude. Like, so I help this man. Like, he literally he looks like an alien or something like that. He looks like some weird like like doe alien or something like that. Some type of creature or something like that, dude. He looks so worried man like oh I, I just look at him i still laughing i'm trying to still not laugh how will you guys get like this in his rawest form but i can't stop laughing man. This, i cannot take this seriously like on both sides if you guys are taking this seriously so far dude with this debate at least like something wrong with you
Let's, let's do this. And their polls stay open until the votes are counted. And this is all about trying to dissuade people from voting because he's trying to con- c- to scare people into thinking it's that it's right. not going to be legitimate. Show up and vote. You will determine the outcome of this election. Vote 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 if you're able to vote early in your state vote early if you're able to vote <laughs> in person vote in person vote whatever way is the best way for you don't do it by mail you though will. he cannot stop you from being able to determine the outcome of this election when you get a ballot and you fill it out you're supposed to have an affidavit if you didn't know you have someone say that <laughs> this is me you should be able to, if in fact you can verify that you, when the before the ballot is thrown out, that's sufficient to be able to count the ballot because someone made a mistake and not dotting the correct I. Who they voted for, testify, say who they voted for, say it's you, that is totally legitimate. I'm go urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. As you know, today there was a big problem. In Philadelphia, they went in to watch. They were they're called poll watchers, a very safe, very nice thing. They were thrown out. They weren't allowed to watch. You know why? Because bad things happen in Philadelphia, bad things. And Are I you- am urging, I am urging my people. I hope it's going to be a fair election. If it's a fair You're election, I am 100% on board. But if I see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated, I can't go along with that. Some of these ballots in some states can't even be open until election day. And if there's thousands of ballots... That is true. Like, like there, there is a lot of weird stuff going on with the mail anytime you vote Republican. That is actually pretty true. Um, so far, this is still a joke, but let's, let's get through the rest of this. It's going to take time to do it. And by the way, our military, they've been voting by ballots for since the end of the Civil War, in effect. In effect. And that's and that's what's happen, going to happen. Why was it not? Why is it for them somehow not fraudulent? It's the same process. It's honest. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail-in ballots. That somehow it's a fraudulent process. It's already been established. It's, it's, the fact <laughs> is, I will so. accept it, and he will too. You know why? Because once the winner is declared, <laughs> after all the all the ballots are counted, all the votes are counted. That'll be the end of it. That'll be the end of it. And if it's me, in fact, fine. If it's, if it's not me, I'll support the outcome. And I'll be a president not just for the Democrats. I'll be a president for Democrats and Republicans. We can get some more dirt, man. Um, I know there's some key factors that weren't in there. If I can fit it in the video, I don't want this video to be really, really long. My audience retention is usually like around like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I don't want to make a video longer than uh, what people are going to watch. So I don't want this video to be like over 15 minutes. Um, if I could fit more in there, I will, but I just thought that I would react to it and I'll give my thoughts. Uh, I think my thoughts are pretty obvious considering considering how much I was cracking up hysterically. Um, that was a very terrible debate, man. They didn't actually really talk about like, like what they're going to do. They just kind of blamed each other for everything. Like I kind of said earlier, um, they kind of blamed each other for everything. Um, Biden didn't know where he was. Trump was just on like on attack mode. Um, Trump kept talking over him. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Trump was Trump was talking over him a lot more than what the video showed. Um, so I, yeah, I, I think that was a very terrible debate, man. That was just, that was just comedy, dude. That was like SNL skit or, or like something you'll see off of like I don't know some type of like robot chicken skit or something like that, man. That was that was terrible, dude. Ah, uh, man, that was that was funny, though. That was really, really funny. Um, I've been making more reactions to the next couple of debates. Uh, man, that was funny. I'm kind of lost for words. I, I didn't think it was going to be that funny, to be honest with you. Usually stuff is funny to you, but not that funny. That was like comedy, dude. That was some serious comedy, man. That's what I kind of want to bring on my channel. Like, it doesn't have to be all serious about like politics and crap like that. It doesn't have to be all serious, man. You can laugh at it. You know, it, you can be on different sides, have different opinions, but at the end of the day, is it stupid or not? That's what my whole channel is about, man. Is it stupid? I'm not going to agree with it just because it's Republican. I'm not going to disagree with it just because it's Democrat. Um, it really just boils down to like, does it make sense, man? That's what my channel is about. And I feel like no one else really has a channel like that. Um, correct me if they do, but I really feel like all the channels are so serious, man. All the channels are so serious. And, um, you know, like Ben's channel is so serious. Candace Owens' channel is so serious. And even Caitlyn Bennett, her channel is so serious, you know? And I kind of just want my channel to be more like, 
just be more chill, right? Like, it's okay to laugh at your own party. It's okay. They do dumb stuff too, man. It's totally fine. And that's, like I said, that's what my channel was about, man. But um, this was funny, dude. That's pretty much my entire thoughts. It's a joke. That was, that was comedy. And I hope they bring us more entertainment um, as, you know, as they get closer to, to uh, I guess, the voting time, elective time, whatever you want to call it, dude. I got two hours of sleep today, guys. I'm barely running off of anything right now, but uh, I think we're going to end it for this video. I don't like this. I want this video, video to be too long. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, leave your thoughts. Let me know if you guys thought this was funny. Do you guys agree with the, with the stuff that they said? It was really incoherent because it was like 10 minutes. But um, yeah, I'm not going to react to an hour long video. But I think that's pretty much the gist of it. If you guys want me to like, react to any like specific parts in the debate, make sure you guys leave a comment or um, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook if I missed like a key factor to uh, anything like Trump said or Biden said that you guys want me to react to specifically. But I don't really know what to look for. So like I said, if you guys want me to react to that, please leave a comment or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, this is going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.